For the next 50 hours, I'll be surviving while lost at sea. Last time, I created a small underwater base, but it's time to outdo ourselves. I upgraded the entire place, created life, oh, and got lost in a different dimension that nearly made me lose the entire world. Death came knocking on my door so many times, I just gave him a key to come right in. The amount of things that went wrong, you won't want to miss them. This ocean definitely tested my survival skills. Now, here's me surviving 50 hours lost at sea. Enjoy! Kind of weird. I haven't seen like any enemy spawn in whatsoever. Oh my god. No, 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 no. He is right over there. Nope, new, new. Oh no, 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 no. I need oxygen. No, 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 no. Eureka! You're on the job right now. No drinking, okay? Oh my god. What are you? Why are you in my base? What is that noise? How are you breathing out of water? How are you breathing out of water? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Run, 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 run. Don't want to die. 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 And welcome back to fun. So you all seem to love this one. So hey, I am totally down to turn this into a series. So thank you. So super duper fun stuff. Uh, first off, kelp farm. I saw some comments saying that you guys are worried about it because if it gets too tall, then uh, the water blocks up here can become water source blocks and they won't flow anymore. However, I think I built this like tall enough to where uh, kelp will never reach it up there. So we're completely fine. Why do I look so short? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, hello there, I'm Will Sky. Hello. Hello, I, I'm, I'm Baby Sky. Hi. Also, if you're enjoying the movie, it'd mean a lot to me if you'd subscribe and get this to 30,000 likes for episode 3. I also have movies on other games like Ark Survival Evolved and Raft uploaded on my second channel. You should go check it out. Now, back to the movie. So another super fun thing, which please, please leave a lot of comments for this. Um, I installed the Create mod. Uh, that was a mod that a lot of you, like hundreds of you, wanted me to actually add to this world. And I actually will be needing a ton of help for this. So yeah, if you guys can help me out with that, uh, I would 100% appreciate it. Now I've done a live stream kind of exploring that mod and kind of learning about it and stuff, but I'm still gonna need help. The mod is like unbelievably confusing to me and there, there's so much, there's so much to do. So yeah, I'll probably be watching videos while recording this to figure it out. However, we have some pretty important stuff to do. So last episode, there's actually um, a special mod in here that's going to be making a Exploring the ocean, super duper useful and actually fun. However, it's going to be taking quite a bit to actually build it, which I think I actually have a lot of the uh, ores for it. So we should be relatively good. We might actually be able to make it right now. Also, beautiful they're, they're still there so hopefully at some point here i can actually get another uh villager might have to install the carry on mod so i can actually pick up everyone oh okay beautiful so we have a lot of titanium already and i just need a little bit of lead when i need some glass we also need some silver which beautiful i do have enough and i think we barely have enough titanium we have more than enough copper and then i just take some silver over. We put it all in this formation and beautiful. We get a power cell from the power cell. We just put everything in just like this, blah, blah, and boom. Oh, hello, sea moth. That's right, baby. <laughs> we got a sea moth from Subnautica. So, oh, and we actually have fuel for this thing. So now I can actually breathe underwater. We can go around wherever we want. Also, I believe this is a lot faster than a uh, boat. So we can actually explore the ocean astronomically fast. Faster. Okay, buddy. But we can still get poisoned. Awesome. Love you a lot. Okay. And uh, I can also just break it and then boop, I pick it right back up. So it's amazing to, you know, just bring it around everywhere with us. The only issue, which I don't think I ever figured out how to do this. Um, I don't know how to recharge the power cells. So yeah. I mean, unless it's here somewhere. All right. That's just a problem for future me. Now, since I do have that super beautiful base and everything, let's go through and start moving all of our chests because I'm kind of tired of always having to come back here.
Okay, that took so much longer than I was expecting, but we have everything in here and it actually kind of worked out fairly well. Uh, new design, I kind of like having them up there on the roof, get them out of the way. Plus, then, you know, whenever I look up to you stuff, boom, we have a very pretty view. However, uh, yeah, while moving everything over, I made more uh, dried kelp blocks and then I just realized that I used all my food. So, uh, yeah, please hurry. However, speaking of more kelp, beautiful. And before I turn all of this into food, so there's actual like diving stuff that I can use and put on and then boom we can actually breathe longer we can go down farther without you know losing oxygen faster mine faster underwater swim faster so we might actually want to make this stuff the only issue is that like it's okay armor it's most definitely not the best so we'll probably always have to carry around two sets of armor on here but it's all relatively easy to make kind of so for the oxygen we can go with the reinforced tank which I think is just a slightly upgraded version from from the standard but we get two extra armor well or we can go with the high capacity which i kind of would rather do just so i can breathe unbelievably long because uh i kind of never pay attention to my oxygen when i'm in the ocean so i kind of usually start drowning like really often so yeah we'll be smart and wow look at that to make it it's actually super easy we just need a whole lot of kelp which i love you kelp farm but we need more titanium which the only way that i have ever found to actually get titanium are from these little stones so we have some mining to go do where did, did i pick it up oh hey look it's titanium but yes this is the only way that i know of how to actually get titanium and the even worse part is that i don't think those rocks ever uh, respawn so we will have to go and travel a whole lot which regardless i'm gonna have to be doing a whole lot of traveling because for the crate mod i need a lot of ores and they're not gonna spawn near my house already since i've kind of explored the ocean a little bit so we're gonna have to go far Okay, we might want to hop into the sea moth and start going somewhere because uh not really noticing any of those little boulders anymore around my base. And oh my god, they're always copper. Please, something other than that. <gasps> oh, ooh, you're an all blue one. Ooh, I love you. And you can go right there with the other one. Oh, wait, you're different. Oh no, not that way. Uh, what are you? Oh, you're a shrimp. And then you're just a lobster. Okay, well, hey, I actually love them both, so I will keep collecting both. You look awesome. Beautiful now. I have food. But before we go off and start searching for more of those rocks, I'm lucky. First off, boom, whole lot of fiber mesh. And I think it was like this, like boom, bam, bing. And we now have a standard O2 tank, which, oh God. And it was on breaking too. Oh, uh, at, oh, I mean, it's not bad. It's just one less armor than it. Oh, oh, that's cool. Altera. Ooh, it even has lettering on the arms. Oh my God. Oh, do we look so fancy? Oh, we're going to look so cool. But now, instead of i think it was 60 before no wait i saw 45 what maybe i just need to go up into air first okay wait there's clearly something i'm missing hold on uh i don't know what to do i literally just opened up the world because uh, i found out why i wasn't able to like breathe with the uh the o2 tank uh uh, but like it clears my inventory like I don't want to lose all my stuff no well I hope it comes back so apparently for me to actually breathe with this I need to make like a diving mask and then I think also a rebreather which is just an upgraded version of the diving mask which I can actually do that it's just uh, I don't have any titanium so yeah I kind of need to go find more however uh, also while I was learning a little bit more about the mod I am now kind of scared to go out into the ocean because I uh, added three more mods which adds in more mobs and uh one of them it's kind of like a boss like there's going to be some actual deadly monsters in here and i also need to watch out for more of the fish because there's now some poisonous ones in here so basically added in some more life and some more difficulty in here even though we're not seeing any of them but i i swear i did add them but um yeah let's see if we can go around and find some more titanium because i really need to make that rebreather and then we can actually start progressing a whole lot lot faster which i should probably go and get my sea moth it's just it seems like it'll be very annoying to use because i have to be jumping out of it so much so and we're probably better off just going around uh swimming just please no big monster if there's a big monster i'm in big trouble and i might actually just die oh god hi is that rayquaza am i playing pokemon please for the love of god only let friendly things spawn in please oh very beautiful i love you spider crabs oh 
Oh, you're amazing. Ah, oh, thank you so much. God, I love free items. Please keep it up. Okay, well, it seems like everything is still friendly out here. Haven't seen any of the big boys spawn in yet. Man, it sure is some tough work out here just swimming around the ocean and trying to find some freaking rocks. I really wish that they would spawn in more and seeing so many pickles. But I'm at least getting really lucky with every single one of these rocks that I'm finding because for the most part, I'm getting a whole lot of titanium chunks. So I do appreciate that. Thank you, game. Just really wish I could find more of these rocks. I really hope that they respawn or if there's a mod that I can enable that will just force them to respawn. Okay, well, oh my God, what are you? Why are you swimming at me? Well, oh my, that is actually so unsettling to me. Well, I ended up with 13 titanium and this really freaky thing right here. Uh, But it's starting to become nighttime. So we might just want to go and return home. You are really unsettling me. Why can I not hit you? Please die. Please die. Please, please. Ow. Oh, man. Just rotten flesh. That's all, really. Oh, no, no. It's nighttime. Uh, I don't know if special kind of dangerous fish spawn at nighttime, but I haven't been seeing anything dangerous, so I got a feeling that they're going to start uh, appearing. Uh, okay. We need to keep a, a lookout, and we need to get back home really, really fast. It's still a bummer that I haven't seen any guardian temples, because I would actually love to find one at some point so I can make it into a farm. Man, but at least it's going to be beautiful while we return home. That's right. I'm kind of an exploring expert, you know. Uh, Columbus could never be me. Yeah, I kind of guessed on where my base was. God, I'm so amazing. Huh? Uh, anyways, we're now back at base, and, uh, well, we can now go through and start kicking up all the titanium and all the other ore that we got, and then hopefully we can make all of the armor. It, it would be really nice to actually be able to, like, swim around faster and breathe longer and all that good stuff. Okay, everything smells like got organized. Oh, yeah, uh, the best part. There's now three different types of copper ingots, so that's kind of interesting. Hopefully that doesn't cause any issues down the line. Anyways, I can now go through and actually start making everything, which I'm gonna test this out. Hopefully by putting this on, I now have more than 45, 75, there we go. Okay, so we can actually upgrade our oxygen. And since I have so much titanium, we should be able to make all of the diving armor. I'm not gonna, I thought I just saw a shark back here and that kind of freaks me out a little bit. But we can now swim faster. I can mine quick. Oh my God, I mine really fast. Okay. Oh wait, when did I have these here? Oh wait, I didn't even need to go that far. I, I had rocks over here. Really? But we can now start zooming around here. So uh, really, really nice, really good. However, we're not gonna stop there. I wanna go through and I really wanna upgrade everything, which I don't think the high capacity would then turn into the reinforced. Yeah, no, it doesn't. So, oh, well, I'm gonna choose more oxygen over higher armor though. I feel like this is a lot more valuable to me. And we're actually really close to maxing these out as well, but I need more silver ore, which kind of sucks and i believe the only areas for silver is going to be over here in our mine shaft which uh, we might be safe to go through in a wetsuit instead of actual armor um probably want to go back to our old base what is that why does that look like a drill is that a fish that's a creeper yep that that right there that's a creeper um don't 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 never mind nope nope leaving leaving we'll go through the other entrance we will go through the other entrance and we'll be smart oh my god what are you why are you in my base what is that noise how are you breathing out of water how are you breathing out of water what is that what what is that noise am i getting attacked like by, by, by freddy krueger is jason here we're not at a campsite i hate nighttime i hate nighttime how are they in my base did they spawn on glass what is is that why is its body like a drill yes run 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 okay at the very least oh my god it's following me oh my god it's following me it's following it's following it's following it's following oh my god jesus 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 oh my god i hate kelp oh uh might be in trouble okay so we actually very much so need to be wary of nighttime. I, oh God. Oh, I really need to never let it get nighttime again. That or we are going to be waiting here for through the entire night. Oh my God. Wow, how did it spawn in my house? I thought, I thought those new mods only added in fish, not nightmares. What if I just try running to my bed? Okay, just sleep, sleep, sleep. Monsters are nearby. Are they outside? Or is it the one in my house? Oh, here, let's go shoot it. It's right there. Uh, just stay down there. Oh my God. 
How is this fair? This thing is moving at Mach 27 speed. Oh my god. 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 Okay, maybe we grab the bed and we sleep in here. But I don't know where that thing went. Oh, that thing could be in the big room. Uh, we gotta bring out the big guns. I need stuff that actually heals me. But since I'm almost max health, we're not gonna use it just yet. Oh my god, it's right there at my door. Just go in the water. You're a fish. Please leave. Oh god, just look at it. Oh my god, that thing is hideous. Oh, it's looking right at me. It's almost like it can hear me. What if I can shoot it out? Oh, I shot it out. Okay, okay, it's not in the house anymore. Very quickly. I'm just gonna go. And close the doors. Can I sleep? Or it's not. God, it's just staying right there. No, no, no. Wait, is it moving slow now? Oh my god, it's moving slow. Oh, you're actually manageable now. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, you were actually easy to kill. Okay, so when you're on land, oh my god, why did my sub why did my sub just scare me? Jeez, I thought that was like a giant shark. Oh dear god. I hate the ocean. I, I hate the ocean. I do not like it. Keep using plastic straws, everyone. Oh my god, that was nightmare feel. Okay, so whenever it becomes nighttime, we immediately sleep. I don't even care if I see diamonds in front of me or netherite. Uh, uh we, we're not doing that again. Jesus, I forgot. Oh yeah, no, we need to go get some silver. Oh no! Let's see if I can shoot him out. Nope, I can't. <gasps> Wait, I killed him. Oh, thank god. They don't even drop anything. They're, they're just created to be annoying and petrifying. Oh my god, well, that's one of the monsters, um, but I, I guess it only spawns it at nighttime. So uh, we now have a very fun enemy to go against. Jesus Christ. So it did damage to all of our armor, but at least it looks like our stuff can survive for a while. Like a lot longer than iron stuff. So maybe we need to actually just go and create our own mine shaft. Because I don't really think that I want to go back to that scary cave. Because it also had one of those monsters in it. Which... We might just want to make this into a staircase going down into the water. How did I build you? Okay, so I somewhat remember how I built this. The nice thing is, wow, I have like two minutes of oxygen now. I never need to look again. Everything is nice and comfy. And my god, I think I actually mine faster underwater than I do in air. What an interesting little pocket I just found. So I think I went down pretty far enough to where uh, we can have like a nice looking uh, mine mine shaft i think up next we want to go through and we're just gonna make a pretty little glass like dome area over this nope mm -mm. nope it's already becoming nighttime i i will camp out this bed i am not gonna be going against those things again just for the fun part so i'll go through add in some glass again and finished okay so we're at least encased in here so we're a little bit safer oh god did i make this tall enough oh god well uh, i guess we'll just be hitting our head a whole lot on this staircase just like with this one so probably wasn't the smartest but i did go through and i started uh, cooking a lot of the sand just so we can have some more glass because i was almost completely out so i'm hoping two and a half stacks is going to be enough for this we should probably and we'll start from the entrance which i'm definitely keeping the doors there in case if any of those monsters ever want to spawn back in i can at least then get rid of them or not get rid of them but you know i could just prevent them from getting into my house then we step over here boom boom all of the water should be gone just first need to make it down here to the bottom of this and then from there i believe just a torch here but i'm pretty sure with stairs you break of course you don't okay and eh, it was a good you know enough dream to have at least it's really satisfying watching uh all of this break oh Okay, that might make things really tedious down here. So, of course, the staircase is up here. Yep, every single one of them is going to be waterlogged. Okay. So, I think the way around this is I put water here, which then allows me to pick it up from the stairs, and we stack it all into one block. Okay, something has to work here. Or we just break the staircase because I can't get the water to disappear for whatever reason. Okay, there we go. Then I can break you. Wait, was that the only staircase that was waterlogged? No. Yep, nope, wasn't. Okay, cool. Now for you, am I able? I don't know why I can't get the staircase one. Okay, well, this is gonna be really tedious. So now we just have to go back through, break all of the staircases, and then, boom, there we go. Okay, super duper fast, get rid of all the water sources. Beautiful. Ugh, why does the ocean have to have so much water? God, it's so tedious. All right, well, uh, don't mind me, just gotta go through and break every single staircase. 
Oh, wait, I guess that's not going to be too annoying because once I break the staircase, the water will be removed from all of the falling sand, right? Okay, wait, okay. You might not take too long, though. And beautiful, everything is done. Let me go pick up all the blocks down here. How did the staircase get all the way up there? What? Excuse me, uh, how did you get through all those blocks and come out to the surface, huh? Please, please, I don't want the nightmares to come back. Please, just let me sleep sleep hurry before they respawn so this will be the one of the few mine shafts that i make because uh, now remembering that i don't have any of the um create ores over here so that's gonna be fun trying to figure out how far i go unless i feel like making a i, I could probably make like a minecart system what is this like, maybe I make a minecart system, then we just make this, I don't know, like 2,000, 3,000 blocks long. But I'm pretty positive in every single direction I've already gone out, like, a 1,000 or two blocks. This is most definitely going to be a super long tunnel. Uh, ideally, I would like to make a ice bridge and use a boat to get all the way across, but yeah, we'll see. So we might have to make two bases. Hopefully, it doesn't take long to get some silver. Wait, oh no, I forgot I have fortune three on this oh i could have been getting so much more i mean it's just coal it really doesn't matter that much oh my god it never ends like at this point i'm just making my own tunnel just to more ores oh my god please let it end soon no it's to more ores oh my god i think we're finally done this was all just from ores uh also really don't want stuff to spawn in here so yeah we'll just leave the torches oh oh wow oh hello okay so we got some ores in here uh i think that's diamond i honestly can't tell it is so unbelievably bright and red in here um probably not the wisest decision actually no no we're not gonna do that no i'm gonna be stronger i'm gonna be better i won't be getting rid of the lava oh it's not diamond it's just uranium which i think will actually be kind of useful i think i do want to collect these blocks however just to make this not annoying let's actually just continue to the right i mean the left my right now whatever so even after mining all the way down here and all this much i still have not found any oh hey look i found silver never mind however i need to find so much more i wonder if mining is actually the best way to go about finding it or if i need to just go back to uh well okay well let me go get a new pick and i wonder if i just need to go back to swimming around in the ocean and just picking up those rocks but i don't know no it's nighttime oh no 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 what no no i think we should actually just stay down here we'll just keep mining i also need to find other kind of ores as well hopefully i can find the cave Maybe then we'll actually find some stuff. Well, that sounds like a zombie, and that's usually a really good sign for a cave. But uh, I think you're to my left, okay? <gasps> Wait, is that a dark block? Oh, no, that is a dark block. Okay, but we at least find another cave. Let's just finish this little section of the mine shaft. What are you? Gabbro Cobblestone. Wait, 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 wait. That's from the crate mod. <gasps> oh, wait. Are we lucky? We actually found some new chunks, but I'm, like, right next to my house, so that's a little weird. Also, I think that was more silver and lovely so maybe we don't need to travel a couple thousand blocks somehow to actually uh, get some of the crate mod which that zombie sounded like it was back here here okay, well, let's see please be relatively close is that above me oh 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 wait wait before you come up here wait wait i just want to get this hold up hold up hold up Ooh, you actually would have been really nice for an iron farm since you can actually pick up a block oh man probably should have kept them but oh well okay so lucky us there's a cave which what are you nice okay so we'll just break you i'm not going crazy i i did see a creeper uh go go walk no 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 that was the clicking again oh that's the skill oh god oh no hi buddy hi you wanna oh i'm sorry i didn't mean to hit you i i i, I wasn't trying to hit you i swear oh god no i was i'm starting to think that there's two in here okay i really need to go and upgrade my sword to an iron one the stone is not cutting it how did that hit me and not deal damage also we should probably be smart and light up the cave oh my god you're so kidded and you deal damage and of course you didn't drop anything whatsoever uh um, just need to very quickly just run through this. We just need to light it up. Yeah, beautiful. We're at least safe on this side. Ooh, some silver. No, 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 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. He is right over there. Nope, nope, no, nope. no, no. I kind of want to make a door for this just so those can't get out. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Is it nighttime? No, it's not even nighttime. Uh, okay. We need to get a little bit more prepared. Uh, stone sword is not cutting it at all. Okay, so this is the second time. So if I ever quit the world and I come back in, this pops up. So clearly there's something important with this, but again, I don't want to clear my inventory. So instead, here, let's let's try something for stuff. Let's just go right back to smelting. Oh dear God, there's a fourth? A fourth copper ingot? Okay, so if we actually just go to this chest, we just load it up with all of our stuff. And now that I have nothing on me, I just go quit and reload the world. Boom, this pops up. Okay, so maybe. Oh god, oh god. Uh, uh, I think I've made a mistake. Mistake. Oh no. Um, at the very least, so we have these interesting looking mushrooms. I can actually maybe get a sapling. Oh, hello. Okay, wait. I, I don't think I'm in that much danger. So now, oh god, please drop an oak sapling, maybe? I know this would be like kind of cheating in a way, but you know, I wouldn't mind it. Oh my god, wait, it even cleared my levels? Ah, uh, I hope I get them back. I also, how do I even get back? Oh, yes, we actually have an oak sapling. Ooh. Okay, I don't know if I can actually bring any of this back to the regular world or to my base. But if I can, then we now have two oak saplings so we can actually have a wood farm. Uh, I don't know what this is. I genuinely do not know what mod this is. I, I have no idea where I am. Um, at the very least, I guess I should go and make some stone tools. So at least I can do that while I'm here. And also, yeah, let's just collect a little bit more of you also with bones right here you might actually come in handy at some point so let me just go through collect all of these a little bit more wood very interesting trees i don't know if this is a glitch or they're actually supposed to spawn here but at least they're beautiful and looking around so there's like some weird stone mountains with these black and white mushrooms everything's like a gray scale uh i'm a little terrified to go in the water especially after hearing that sound uh i could make a boat might be faster to go on this instead of walking oh we also have an issue with food now uh hopefully i can find something of use here uh let's see do you actually give me mushroom okay do you give anything at all or are you strictly just for cosmetics okay so no difference on any tool that i use and it doesn't look like you drop anything where am i my coordinates are just zero zero oh but there are some ruins right here do you have any chest inside uh no but you do have silver right 10 never mind don't care uh okay well things are about to get bad it's almost nighttime. i at least have this um one thing that i have been noticing is that there are the little boulder rock things that are still spawning in which can give me iron like that so I, theoretically you know i could kind of get to some iron tools really fast because i kind of really don't want to use stone we also need uh some armor greatly appreciate that how do i get home why did i teleport here <laughs> okay if i'm fast enough i can actually make some torches just like that boom we can at least then hello go around the island and kind of light it up a little bit on this side so i hopefully don't have anything spawning over here with me um if i can get even luckier and have some spiders spawn on that side then we can very slowly start to make a bed which hello uh, we are definitely in a very interesting alien world right now and i kind of really really want to go back home also now that we actually have grass oh we can actually get some seeds oh <gasps> Wait, ooh, this might be a- What? This might be a relatively really good spot. What? Because I can actually make a wheat farm over here. Because uh, I currently only have one apple. What? Are you a pineapple? Ginger. I think that's good. I honestly can't sell. Okay, so... I guess let's set up shop here. Where's my gobble? There you are. Boom. We can make a furnace. You boom bop. Can at least start making the iron. Probably should go for full iron armor first. 
which I don't think 18 is going to be enough. Uh, while that is cooking, let's make a wooden hoe. Let me go here. We're just going to turn all of this into a farm for us. So this should be like the maximum everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Boom. Wheat seeds. Bop. And beautifully, we have bone blocks. So now we have nearly two stacks of bone meal. So we can immediately fast forward on the farm. Okay. Just like that, the farm is completely grown and we have 48 wheat. So at least now the food actually isn't an issue since we have you know, 16 things of bread. Just gotta fully eat. Uh, it's kind of weird. I haven't seen like any enemy spawn in whatsoever. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're in danger. Oh, we are definitely, definitely in danger. Oh god, there's two more right there. Okay, I didn't realize that they were surrounding this location the entire time. Uh, maybe this won't be our permanent spot. Yeah, we are definitely getting armor. That is 100% the first thing that we are doing. And also, I need to deal even more damage, so we're just upgrading straight to an iron sword. Oh dear God, please do not see me over here. Oh my God, there's a fourth, fifth, sixth. Uh, okay, maybe we want to pick up shop and go to a location that hasn't been rendered in. Oh dear God. Oh no, they're starting to spawn around a lot more. Is it almost daytime? Huh? You want to start going down, buddy? Yeah. At the very least, if they come over here, if I jump in the water, they'll actually slow down. I just, oh God, cannot fight them on land. Uh, we probably need more stone. Let's just collect some. Huh? Nautilus shell. Okay, that is the last thing that I was, you know, guessing would come out of that ore. Uh, I guess I'll take it though. Surely there must be like some kind of portal or block or building that's going to spawn here that'll let me go back to my base, right? Like, uh, there's there's no way that I just lost my world and all of that progress and buildings, right? Right, guys? Did I make a mistake? Oh, but I didn't mean to use up all of the coal. So let's see if I can smelt three things of sand and get glass for whatever reason. Who knows? Maybe I can make another sea moth while I'm here, even though the water really isn't that deep. So it probably won't be that useful. Please do not notice me. I just want to collect the wood here. Oh, wait, I have the tree cutting mod on? Oh, that's incredible. Oh, I'm so happy. Yes. Yep, just stay over there, bud. Don't notice me. It's okay. I'm just collecting wood. Okay. Luckily, it's now sunrise. Uh, they are getting relatively close. And all of the glass is done. Let's just pick you up. And we are getting out of here. Uh, am I able to retrieve all of my torches? Also, I am taking the seeds with me. Okay, so far, so good. Please go away, Jason. Oh my god, it's coming. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, it's on land. 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 Oh my god. Okay, anyways, doesn't matter. I picked up everything. Okay, they don't seem to chase. As long as I can kind of get away from them and like somewhat get out of their view, they seem to stop. So uh, at least I got that going for me. Ooh, more coal, beautiful. Ooh, and more iron. Hello, beautiful. Let's get out of here. We're gonna go over there to those islands. Oh God, there's so many jellyfish in here. Oh, but I guess while we're here, hello, iron. Yes, yes, can never get enough of you. Ooh, or you. Okay, well, with you about to break after I do this, boom. Okay, perfect. Yeah, let's go and get situated again. Since for once, there's actually nothing dangerous here. Man, I really wish I had silk touch. Oh, then I could have brought in some dirt back to my house if I ever actually get back home. I really hope that I didn't just lose my world. There's no way, right? Like, there's no way that a mod would just bring you from your world and then just replace it with a different one. Man, well, that's all going. I did did see some more iron over here. Worst part is that uh, if it did delete my world, I don't have any backups. I never saved that world because I kind of wasn't expecting a mod to come and, you know, force me in, into a new one. But I really doubt it did because it only said that it would, you know, clear my inventory, not create a brand new world. Like, I feel like there would have been more warning with that. Okay, at the very least, I now have full iron armor, so I'm a little bit more protected. I also have all iron tools. So, <sighs> making some progress. So, at least now I, I don't feel so weak and naked uh why is the grass lit up over there and now comes the absolute first part uh oh god okay so now that it's nighttime, i uh, i'm going to kind of pray that i am safe up here i really hope those very strange evil looking things can't hop up here which uh i'm gonna take a wild guess and say that they can and here they come no oh no you stay over there please please just leave me alone please please just let me just let me finish this up oh please please have enough fuel for the titanium chunk please 
these? Oh my gosh, barely. Okay, let's see if I can collect these without having a fight start. Okay, beautiful. Pick up this torch. We're just gonna camp right over here. Okay, seems to be sunrise right there. Man, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful shot. Woo! Okay, so nothing else happened. Uh, okay, so since there's land to the left and it's actual open ocean to the right, or right in front of us, I feel feel like we want to go towards the open ocean. Get away from all of the land. Maybe we can find something in this direction of importance, maybe? Because I'm noticing that there are no sunken ships. There's almost no fish. Uh, there's these weird mushrooms everywhere. So, yeah. Oh, hi, tree. Maybe it's time- hi, tree. Maybe it's time that I go and look at the mod page. Maybe I should, uh, do a little bit of research on this because now I'm starting to panic and yeah oh my god I really hope I didn't just lose my world oh if I just lost my world this is gonna be unbelievably bad so we might have an issue uh right now okay so I might have come up with a conclusion or a fix now the area that I'm in is uh <laughs> the mod doesn't exist anymore so I had this mod downloaded you know a little while ago because this is a mod pack from a, like a previous world from like two years ago uh whatever though so this is aquarium by suki s-u-k-i and um the mod is off curse forge uh it's not on any website except for one and there's no hint about how to get back home right now i'm actually in a different dimension this is known as the mad sea uh they had a discord but it got deleted and i have no idea what to do my my only assumption is that maybe if I quit and save, then the message will pop up and I can go back home. Uh, we'll see. The answer is no. It just says welcome back. Uh, okay. The other thing, which is kind of an issue because I'm in hardcore, but, um, is that, uh... If I kill myself in here, uh, maybe I can respawn back in the overworld, or maybe if I can create a nether portal, I can then go into the nether, and then if I go back through that portal, maybe it'll spit me out into the overworld, and then I can be back in my base. I have absolutely no idea. Ah, uh, because right now, I, ew, this, this mod is not complete, so that's the other part that's really worrying me, so I'm kind of in, uh, lumbo right now or limbo whatever it's called uh so yeah like technically i shouldn't be here whatsoever and the weirdest part is how i've been playing with this mod the entire time and i never had that message pop up so i'm kind of confused why it did now and i have absolutely no idea what is the point of this dimension especially since there's quite literally nothing in here except for those nightmares that move at mach 7 speed on land okay well we might as well try out that nether portal strat once we get over here to the islands, which honestly, uh, I think I'm just gonna spawn in the portal stuff because, uh, yeah, I think I get a free pass on cheating here as I am in a broken mod that is abandoned and deleted by the mod creator. And there is absolutely no wiki or any hint at how this mod works. So, uh, in order to save this video and hopefully world, uh, yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, like, it's cool, maybe, you know, like, maybe if the ocean was, like, black and, like, really shadowy and there's, like, monsters coming for me, this dimension, you know, would be really cool. But I'm not seeing, like, any way to get out of here whatsoever. Ooh, soybeans. Okay, that's kind of cool. So we got ginger and soybeans. Um, yeah. Oh, what are you? Knaf? Bless you? I don't, I don't know what that is. Well, don't really see anything else important on here. Uh, let me do one last google search maybe there's a youtube video on how to get out of here well i looked on youtube and i looked on google no matter what it's like this mod doesn't even exist so uh yeah i think i'm ready to uh just uh remove the mod if i can actually get back home so we'll try out the fun strat first you know we'll, we'll see if we can sesame seeds huh get the nether portal to actually light up uh i'm kind of hopeful on it it's just i kind of like really strongly doubt it because um yeah normally being in a different dimension and trying to use it 
any kind of like vanilla portal might not work, but I'll, I'll, I'll try and be uh, optimistic for this. If not, then I guess I'm gonna have to go into like a world edit or maybe some other kind of teleporting mechanic or some kind of like dimension altering thing. Who knows? So, oh dear God, this is gonna take so long. So I really hope that this actually works. So please work on first try. Okay. Please, please, please work. And that is exactly what I expected. Yeah, of course it's not gonna work in this dimension. And I, I'm also going to assume that even if I were to make an end portal, it also would not work. So yeah, um, here, I'll, I'll throw that away then. So at least I'm not bringing any of these items home. The only thing is that uh, like, you know, whenever I get obsidian again, I'm not gonna get this achievement. So, oh, well, I guess that's the only permanent thing staying with me. But yeah, let me, uh, let me go see if I can do some achievements. Uh, changes to this game see if i can get myself to spawn back into the overworld so oh wish me luck <gasps> oh my gosh i'm actually back home oh i didn't lose my world you have no idea how like genuinely anxious and scared i was about losing this entire place and just having to you know restart the entire series uh oh you guys are here uh, i should probably go say hi to them so i still have all of my stuff from being in that world you know, just like the oak saplings. Uh, I can't lie. After going through all of that, I kind of really don't feel like uh, deleting any of the items that I got from that dimension because uh, for me personally, I feel like I've earned it at this point uh, after having to do hours of research, trying to find the mod and anyone else playing the mod and then also trying to get back to this world. Dear God, that was unbearable. So I don't have my original XP, but I think I actually now have more XP than than what I had when I went to that world somehow. But where did the drown go? I was actually coming over here to kill them. But yeah, I kind of don't feel like uh, deleting any of the items. If it makes you guys mad enough, then sure, you know, I'll go back and I'll at least delete the oak saplings and I guess maybe the seeds, who knows? I'll, I'll see how I'm feeling. But at the very least, like, you know, we, we do have a lot of progress with all of this stuff. So anyway, here, actually here, we're gonna take you, put you there uh you can go there and i'll actually keep this uh luckily we did get even more wood i'll keep the saplings and the seeds right here for now maybe i'll use them but I i'm like very very positive that i will be using them i i can't lie oh, man after going through all of that i think it's I think it's time that we go on an adventure. Also, I'm now realizing after removing that weird mod that I'm starting to get other types of fish spawning in. But even though I have like five mods, maybe four mods on here with different aquatic life, I'm still noticing that uh, the ocean is really empty and there's nothing here whatsoever. It could be the biome. It could also be that because we're in old chunks, that's why nothing's spawning in. But yeah, I'm noticing that there's... It, it's just so empty and barren. So I mean, I don't think there's any other mods that I can add to this. Also, let's get rid of that armor, which can just chill next to that armor. And hello, good stuff. Okay, so now that we look super duper cool again, we're all kitted up. I kind of want to go um, ocean monument and sunken ship hunting. And boy, is it going to be super fun and fast in this. Oh my gosh, wow, why is this? This is like really hard to turn. Okay, this is weird. Oh, this is weird. Oh God, these controls are so bizarre. So uh, we'll head this direction away from our base, mainly because I haven't really explored this area. So we should hopefully find some new stuff spawning in. Uh, I should really install the better third camera mod because that'd be kind of fun to like go around in this uh, in third person. Might need to add in some more mods while recording. You know, I hope you guys don't mind that. <laughs> okay, something other than coral would be appreciated. <laughs> Oh, nice. We at least found a whale shark. So that's cute. Okay. So we're, we're starting to find some stuff. We're probably still... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I noticed that. Hello. Yeah. Hello, beautiful. So we might still be in old chunks. That's why there's nothing new. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a sunken ship? What is that? Oh, destroyed nether portal. Oh, hello. How are you doing, bud? Oh, hi. And that's also 
really interesting. Okay, wasn't expecting to see that. Uh, eh. Oh, wait, just because of that enchantment. I guess we'll take all of this stuff. Why not? Okay, actually not that bad of a find with that. Still not seeing anything here. Okay, yeah, milk. still a pretty empty, barren wasteland, so that's, that's fun. And I'm so sorry, I do love you crabs, uh, but since I am so far from my base, I kind of love having your crab legs a little bit more. That's also kind of sad how they don't even, like, move or try to fight while I'm hitting them. Oh, so god. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, well, I might be able to get something interesting from you guys. Uh, at the very least, none of you actually have a trident, so I feel a little bit safer. Oh my god, please. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we're starting to get a lot. Starting to get a lot. And it's also incredibly hard to see you guys. Oh my god. Really, really hard to see you guys. Uh, what's the shader pack on i won't lie all of the sea pickles are making you guys go kind of invisible from ow i'm on i'm on dear god why do i have like no rage in here oh my god whoa were you guys trying to kiss me dear god i really wish i had a trident uh, i would love to do range battle Ooh, huh actually kind of interesting uh i think i'm gonna keep my scuba gear over your guys's though because i feel like mine's a lot better okay beautiful beautiful uh okay seamoth over here well i guess since now all of them are dead i am most definitely going to go through and loot your place. So first off, you're actually important to me, so I will take that. Hi, wow, that's interesting. Uh, I'll just take everything out of there. We're going to be kind of fast. I do want all of these. God, I mine so fast underwater. Luckily, it does not look like there's anyone here. Beautiful. Please stay nice and empty. Oh, God, I hear them. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I see them now. Oh, boy. Yes, 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 yes. Go in there. Go in there. Yes, yes, please. Go in there. Go in there. Please take damage. Oh, of course you don't take damage. Awesome. Them. Dear God. Oh, I wish I could see. Ow. Ow. I wish I can hit you. There we go. Okay. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Faster, faster, faster. Okay. Beautiful. Whole lot of wheat. Ooh. Also beautiful. Very lovely. Oh, hi. Wait, there's chests under these two and they have nothing. Okay. Well, never mind. Oh, also beautiful. Well, at least, you know, if I ever care to, I can make like kind of a god tier fishing rod. Okay. Very beautifully. I think think this entire place has been completely looted. Where's my sea moth? Oh, it's over there. I'm coming. I don't need to go to the surface for oxygen because I can make it to you. Yes, I can. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so uh, not too shabby. Uh, you know, it's nothing really special or what I'm looking for, but uh, I'll take that over a coral reef or uh, open waters. <laughs> but there is definitely something weird about this world because I'm kind of shocked that I'm not finding any sunken ships now and i've never found an ocean monument so that's also very weird to me okay so given how it's now daytime uh i feel like we might just want to stop going forward so i don't think for whatever reason i'm going to find a sunken ship oh dear god that sun is so bright okay there we go now that i don't have pope francis in my eyes um yeah no there's no point really it's Especially since I have gone over 3,000 blocks on this thing. Also, I'm almost out of fuel on it. Yeah, I think I need to look at my mods. I, I think I need to go disable some stuff because now there's just nothing spawning in. So yeah, I might need to go do a hot fix. What's up? It's the next day. So, so I went through uh, some of the mods and I believe... Oh god, I really hope I didn't just disable stuff that made me lose things. I don't think I did did like i'm pretty sure i still have everything so i don't think i messed up i basically just went around and i turned off oh that's a new fish i think but i basically just wanted to go and turn off stuff where uh like i just wasn't seeing them so if i never seen the mob before boom i just turned it off because i'm just going to assume that it's uh conflicting with something uh anyways so kind of don't really have too much more time so we need to go and have a uh, an actual fun adventure I, I need to do something i really 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 want to put something in the center here like i i actually really hate how empty this is um and i kind of want to design some stuff to go on top of the glass because even though it looks really cool inside i mm, i don't know I'm, I'm not too big of a fan of uh just the glass look however there's a building that i wouldn't mind doing but we kind of need someone beautiful you're still there okay so bait out the witch come on yeah no, okay well i meant to bait it out don't don't poison don't poison don't poison don't poison you little how did that hit me you you're on the wrong team you should be on the nfl 
well. Go, 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 go. Don't hit me. Ah, I hate you. All righty, butthead McGee loser. Yep. Okay, go, go, go. Maybe if I like run right next to you. Okay, nope. No matter what, you're just going to hit me. Okay. Well, at least you poisoned yourself. So I feel a little bit better about that. Last time, whenever I come in here, this place is unbelievably cluttered with enemies. Just like that. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't like that skeleton. I don't know. Stop trying to shoot me. I don't like you. No, no. Oh my God. Oh, yes. What is the chances of that? Okay. I need, oh, um, okay. Maybe our best bet. Let me, let me actually get some stone. So we might have to build some bridges. Go stay on top of health. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can get you a weight up like that. You can come up, right? No. Okay, cool. Yep. I, I wanted the skeleton. Nothing else up here. Oh God. Oh, wait, that's amazing. You actually hold the block. Oh, I think I can actually use you for an iron farm then. Oh my God. No, 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 Please, please get away from the creeper. Uh, here, I'll put a block there. Are you going to get up that way? Okay. Beautiful. Oh my God. Okay. No, this is really bad. This is really bad. Really bad. Really bad. Really, really, really bad. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe. Oh, cool. They, they both get in it. Okay. Well, I believe I can just shoot the creeper. Like I'm pretty sure this isn't going to hit the villager. Okay, good. For the love of God, can you stop throwing that for like four seconds, please? What? What kind of zombie villager is that? Is like a swamp one? I've never seen that outfit before. Well, uh, let me just hop in really quick. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, just gonna stay right here. I, I don't know why, but I feel safer out here. Uh, I did not bring any food with me. Okay, so I mean, the witch, I mean, as long as she doesn't throw any poison or not, uh, instant damage at me, I, I can actually make it pass. Go get a little bit healthier. Okay, we're gonna close you off. Wait, are you a nitwit? Did I just get a nitwit zombie villager? I feel like that's insanely rare. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, anyways, go, go, go. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Yeah, I hate you. Okay. Okay, yeah, we need to go get some food. Oh my gosh. I mean, well, I could actually try out the create mod. I, I can actually try out the create mod and make some automatic uh, farms with that thing where it'll harvest and like replant stuff, which, you know, I kind of barely know how to use the create mod. So I'm going to be needing a metric ton of help. So please, again, leave comments on machines that I should build and how to do them. Uh, I'll just nom on some legs first. Why not? Also, it, it looks like uh, getting rid of one of the mods got rid of the unbelievable amount of... Uh, food that this gives me so i don't get 103 of those like yellow looking turkey legs anymore so that kind of sucks yeah we're just gonna stick to dried kelp we are still barely squeezing by and this is episode two <laughs> actually do i even want to go back there yet no i don't, I don't think we want to go back there uh just yet maybe we want to actually focus on making some farms and things over here now we do have carrots potatoes and i do have the wheat seeds and you know like the oak sapling and stuff but i still don't know if i'm going to use these i strongly think that i will but uh, I probably won't touch those uh, this episode. So, you know, you guys can leave your feedback on those. Now, I somewhat know how to make the machine to auto harvest these. And I could just start surviving off of cooked potatoes. And then I can also use these to uh, breed the villagers, which I kind of want to check one thing. Okay, I really hope this mod is working. Oh, <gasps> it is. Okay, beautiful. So I can actually pick up chests and I can pick up villagers. Now, I kind of want the farmer to be in the center since I actually do need to make it a circle and it'll be kind of close to that farm. So maybe to the right, this is our farming mine area. And then to the left, this is where we'll put all like the future villager stuff. Yeah, I'm actually starting to notice like a lot more fish than usual. Are you puffer fish? What are you? Oh my God. Yep. Yep. You're puffer fish. Jesus. And maybe we retrofit this to be the hallway over to it. Mm, I'm going to say that we should probably start outside with building this. Well, ah, God, I kind of want to use wood. I'm not going to, Ooh, Ooh, I kind of really want to use wood for it. Uh, I think it'd be smartest to just go with stone bricks again. Now, Oh God, my biggest issue is that, so for me to make the machine, Machine with the cray mod it has to have a power source which those can be like astronomically huge unless i just go with the water wheel which i think will be fine the machine might be really slow but crops kind of don't grow that fast so i think we're okay with that yeah i think we'll go with the water wheel and then the spinning rotating thingy majigger shouldn't be that difficult Okay, so first off, hallway is going to start there, and then maybe we'll just, you know, kind of come all the way out to 
here. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Or, okay, so because I, I kind of want to build this like fairly large. In here, I'm pretty sure I could only build a 12 by 12 circle, like a 12 uh, radius circle, or, uh, or maybe a circumference, honestly don't know. But it's going to be a really tiny room. Not really a fan of that. We can actually build it over this, which will defeat the entire purpose of the, uh, the view of it, but... I think I'm down for that. So we have this come all the way out here, kind of like this, maybe. We can make it kind of rotate a little bit or curve like that. And OK, now it might might be a little random for this. So I think I actually see a perfect point to make the entrance, uh, but I'm worried about it cutting over to this. Uh, actually, now nah, here, but we'll just we'll just have a lot of pathways, you know, why not? Well, we'll just have a metric ton of just tunnels going all over everywhere and make it like a spider web. I think that'd be kind of fun. It'd be kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever built like that before. Now, anyway, so for this, I think it, uh, I'm feeling a 22 by 22 circle. Like I'm feeling like Taylor Swift right now. So this is where it'll start. And I got boom, boom and then boom boom so this will be the entrance and now for the super confusing part and i hope i don't mess up any of these blocks oh my god i'm zooming through this thing oh my gosh i'm finally a professional circle doer oh you know i don't want to drown oh oh god but it's so much nicer having two minutes of air oh, three and boom wow i actually did that perfect without like counting really i just kept looking over at a picture of it okay so this should be a very very perfect size for a farm now what we could do is we could actually cut this in half and then boom this would be all wheat and then we can cut this in half right there so this would be carrots and this would be potatoes which might be the wisest decision i think i want to go about doing that however first so this this could be an issue but never mind i don't have that much stone okay so we're not going to extend it in by one i mean well okay wait i've been cooking like usual and i've been cooking some stone okay so maybe just for the design we will so starting from here and then just very hopefully i don't mess up anything and done perfect so by using another layer of stone inside i just have to use less wood so uh, it's kind of my only reasoning for that and just to make it look a little bit more farmy that's like a word uh yeah let's use some uh Oak planks, why not? I'll just take all of you. Do I? Oh, yep, never mind. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, do I have a lot of dirt? Uh, yes, yes, I absolutely do. Okay, beautiful. I'm hoping on my life. Wait, can I automatically make dirt with a create mod? Would that be a possibility? Like some kind of like I, I know I can automatically craft stuff with the mod, which I am so unbelievably excited about. You have no idea. So I know I could auto craft um some dirt into a uh, coarse dirt, and, you know. And then I think I can actually make a machine that will then uh, hoe it so that then it'll automatically become regular dirt and it can kind of repeat. But then I don't know if I can make infinite gravel. Oh God, so much to do. This is why I need all your help. Now, anyways, um, I guess first we're just going to go through and actually just fill all of this in with dirt. And then we're going to need to figure out the water situation because I would like to make this farm as efficient as possible, especially since you know, I'm kind of hurting for food right now. <laughs> I would like to eat something other than garbage kelp. And beautiful, why did you have to play that sound right when I was doing that? Uh, I think very luckily, Drown don't spawn at that building over there anymore. So that's really, really nice. Um, Now the bad part. So I did build this lopsided. So kind of an issue because I can't... Uh, yeah, because there's not going to be like the perfect center. Mm, yeah, and I don't really know how to fix that. I mean, maybe if I were to like take half of the circle and just put like an extra log layer in there and then i would make a center but hmm, i don't think it'll matter too much so here we'll be smart and we're gonna start marking out everything with logs now okay so maybe what we do is this will be the center even though this is closer to this side then once we build the machine we're going to focus the arm on this length length just so i can hopefully uh, cover the entire farm with it and for us to make an actual like energy spot uh do, 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 do. what we can do is let's see i can actually put a water wheel over here and then i believe i know how to make the wiring 
go all the way to that. So we do have a water wheel. Isn't there a larger version of this? Crushing wheel, flying wheel, water wheel. I guess not in 1.16.5 crate mods. So large cog wheel, just make a water wheel. Okay, so this is relatively cheap. Um, God, I honestly think I need to make an iron farm first. Oh no. Uh, okay, so we need to get iron so we can make the food farm, but we need the food farm so I can actually make more villagers. Okay, first off, do I have a lot of andesite? No, I don't. Okay, I have like less than a stack and a half. Um, next issue. I think it's actually gonna be wisest for us to go mining. Yeah, I feel like we have to go mining. So that kind of sucks. Why did I think that was a mermaid? Oh, <gasps> wait, you look cool. Wait, 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 wait. I think that's a different color combo than the one I have trapped. Maybe? No, no, it's not. Okay. Are they all the same? color or is there a different type of uh lobster crab things or is, are those shrimp i just realized i can also make a tunnel straight into that oh nice do 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 oh man we can actually go down here and we don't have to worry or panic because we won't be seeing any more of those nightmare fish those super speedy fish that was from the uh the broken mod so i think you're actually safe to explore this beautiful uh let's see even though you're just 10 might as well collect everything at least we have grass Travel here. We got granite. Oh, we do have some andesite that leads straight into osmium. Cool. I'm hoping that's actually useful. But for us to actually start making a lot of the crate mod um, machines, yeah, we actually do need to stay here. And for once in my life, I need to uh, collect andesite. And I think I might go crazy and collect this entire uh, spot of it. Oh, God, you lead into another area. Okay. Well, uh, this is the part where I would do a time lapse for you all to watch watch but uh yeah i'm on forge so i don't have that mod so um yeah i don't know Okay, so with over five stacks of andesite, I think we're good. But I am seeing dirt, so I think we're gonna go and collect a lot of this since we have been using a lot of it. And there we go. So we got two and almost a half stacks of dirt, over five of andesite, and I need to go make more tools. But that was actually pretty profitable. And I also got a, a decent amount of iron ore. So we should be able to make some of the machines already. However, okay, well, actually, I kind of like that, actually. I'm not going to lie. It looks like a little cool. Then while that's all cooking, we can actually get back to building I'm just a little worried about putting a dome on this thing because I don't know how tall I need to make it for all of the machinery and like wiring and all of that stuff. So this could be fun. Uh, this could be very fun. Also, do I? Oh yeah, no, never mind. I do have a lot of glass, which we might be using up all of that. So we might have to go and start uh, getting more sand relatively soon, which I'm not too excited about. So we'll make you the same height which will start here and a tunnel of this size yeah this will be like nice and massive for us shouldn't be too compact whatsoever i just really wish that i could figure out where do i want to put the water wheel because i'm trying to think of the future because i can also make windmills or i could just have like two water wheels or something so maybe okay well, let me go get some wood i'm thinking maybe right here these four are going to be the spot for the machine. So maybe we just make it come back like that and just so it isn't too ugly or out of place looking we can then just wrap you around in stone just like that which i actually kind of like that so not too shabby i think at this point yeah i can easily fit in three water wheels possibly even six so we'll see i just don't really know how, to, how this is gonna work too well so yeah god i'm actually really nervous to start this oh dear god uh am i gonna have enough glass to even 
finish just the outline of this place. Okay, so we do have the glass entirely surrounding the place, all good. I am now kind of tempted. So earlier how I said, I kind of want to redesign the buildings a little bit, you know, kind of add on to them. I think I want to start building with the stone and I kind of want to do that here. So what we can do, just so I don't have to break any of the glass and then, you know, it's all a waste. I can actually build it like, you know, wrap it around the glass. So it looks like it's uh, holding the glass in place, adding a little bit of structure and it'll kind of look like this. I don't know why I built this one so different from all of my other uh, domes and like other glass builds that I have, but I kind of want to take this as inspiration. Also, should probably come in here and harvest the kelp. Oh my God, that's loud. I'll never get old just watching them just go up and then just just shoot off to the right. Oh, it's fun. Alrighty, first let's go about actually making more of these. And I, oh, never mind. Okay, I do have a lot of stone. Hello, beautiful. And before I go over here and, you know, play around with the design, let's actually go back to our uh, actual buildings. And, hmm, so the first thing that comes to my mind is all of the corners where they go up and then meet on these two points. Maybe this is where we start all the stone like this and boom, 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 which, you know, it blocks out the view a little bit, but at least we can see more of it. <laughs> Because being just glass, it's actually a little bit hard to see this building or all of my buildings. Okay, we're doing kind of well. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. okay. So now we need to go and get some slabs. And then what we can do across all of the glass points right here for whatever reason, we'll just add in some slabs. Not like that, like that. And I almost kind of want to do it down here as well, which I think this looks nice. Um, you're friendly, right? You're not going to try and eat me or kill me. Then let's Let's go around to all of these spots. We're gonna do the same thing across the entire dome. Looking beautiful. And then since slabs are a lot, lot tinier, it actually would kind of like perfectly fit right here, just going across this. So boom, it's like we're just reinforcing all the glass. This thing can take a nuclear strike now and I need more slabs. And yeah. I think I'm definitely a bigger fan of all of this, which since we do have slabs, we can then go around and start putting it on top of the blocks, like right here, make it a little bit curvier. So it's not so jagged. Oh, and that's looking beautiful. So it makes every single building way more pricey. However, just, oh my gosh, just look at that. Oh, it's actually beautiful now. Whoa. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, I'm loving that. Especially since we can't really see like outside too much. Like we can see the coral reef really easy around us. Oh my God, that looks so much cooler. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of this. And then everything that I've just done here, I now need to go and do it over here. Luckily you are way tinier. And yep, I can still do the same exact design with you, maybe. Ooh, kind of, not really. We can kind of like wrap you around like this. Yeah, so it's like the tunnels do make it a a bit more difficult, but don't worry. That just means that it's adding personality to the build. And I guess the only area that we're going to be adding slabs is just at the top area. Now the only spot with two uh, blocks of glass coming out. And then yeah, perfect right there. Then we're just going to go around. Oh yeah, we need to connect the ceiling. I'm so confused. Wait, how are you so different? Oh, that's why because of the tunnel and then the door. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Wow. So even though this does make it more beautiful. Golly, do you use up a lot of stone? We, oh God, please don't, please don't tell me I need to go mining again, please. And when we come inside, whoa. Oh my gosh, I love this. Now, should I do anything with the tunnel? Because maybe for tunnels, we just leave them entirely glass. Because I mean, I could add some stuff maybe, but that's gonna take away so much of the visibility. So I think we just leave them like that. We might wanna do something. No, no, I don't think we wanna do anything with the staircase going down. We can, however, add some stone here. I think this is perfect. It makes it look a little bit more uh, structural and a little bit stronger. Yes, yeah, oh, okay, fish, come on. Beautiful, go through with some slabs. And then when I go down here to go mining, okay, well, you can't really notice it that much, but uh, oh, well, we're gonna keep it there. And let's see, we could probably add some stuff around this. First off, we definitely need some slabs, make this a little bit less uh, Minecrafty. And maybe, honestly, we can 
probably also add in another stone brick archway around this which we then put in some slabs. Maybe add in to there around this entire glass pillar. I'm actually kind of a fan of that. Ooh, yeah. Like, it's very tiny upgrades in here. Ooh, yeah, no. Ooh, I'm such a fan of this. Is that a fish? Wow. Whoa. <gasps> Ooh, nice. We also have a fish farm in here. That's beautiful, but very nice on the kelp. Definitely need to stay on top of this. Been running low on food. And beautiful. So, yes, I like this building style a lot more. I think we're done. I mean, we could add some supports down but i honestly kind of don't really care to go that far yet maybe in the future um we could actually add some stone around this hmm i okay dang it Ugh, i just thought of something that i actually really like and um, we'll just start kicking up some more cobblestone because we are getting pretty dangerously low so my thought over there just around that glass tube we can actually add in some stone brick walls around the entire glass part right here just so we can actually see it more but it's not going to take up the entire uh row like regular blocks would so boom it'll look like that and you know we can actually kind of see this it, oh god this is going to take a lot more stone i do not bring enough walls oh god okay okay jesus can you get out of my eyes please thank you very much but i think it's definitely worth it because looking at this side i like this way more than this side over here it just kind of defines the build a little bit more okay and beautiful i feel like i should add something up top maybe like wrapping around it but i don't think we need to go that crazy i actually think doing the same thing for this area right here will hopefully complete the entire uh build oh dear god that's gonna take so much stone uh, i don't want to go mining if anyone knows how to make an automatic cobblestone farm with the create mod please leave comments about it that is 100% something that I want to make. Because yes, I know Minecraft. I'm supposed to go mining. But if I can automate it, oh yes, I absolutely will. I just, yeah, me personally, I just find mining really boring. And I guess since I have so many slabs, we could actually just go around like that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. We'll get rid of the top layer of you. And then we put a brick like that, maybe? Because if I were to put a slab instead, then it would just look like this. And I kind of really hate that little open gap area. So we'll... no slab, we put brick. And I think that actually works a lot better. I kind of like that a little bit more, but I'm not sure. We could put stairs. Oh, and we do have a lot of stairs. So beautiful. Okay. I think I actually like that more. <gasps> wait, is there a way that I can orientate it? I mean, maybe, maybe that's better. Cause then it's only bad if you look at it from this side, but I think I like that the most, maybe. Cause I mean like this looks cool. Yeah, but I think, I think staircase. Plus it also just gives me some walls back. Wait, actually instead of slabs over here, we could just put some stairs. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, you're way better than slabs. Okay, beautiful. Okay, and just like that, I think now we're almost done. Okay, wait, never mind. I just noticed all these and I hate them. Okay, now I don't hate it as much. Actually, I don't even hate it at all. Okay. Uh, uh, maybe just so it's not so square, we can then add all of those into the corners. Yeah, I like that. It's a little bit prettier. Oh, dude, that actually looks kind of cool now. Being able to actually like see the building over there just so it's not all invisible for us. Now, oh God, do I have a lot? Okay, so we at least have some more stone which i think yeah, we definitely want more of you a few more stairs and oh boy okay so we have some uh, stuff to actually build with this oh god covering this in stone is gonna cost so much oh i hope this farm is worth it so oh, i hope it can actually get a lot of villagers from that god this place looks gorgeous now oh i love it so maybe right here here is where we'll actually have our first uh, stone support for this. Mainly just because it's far enough from the building. And the glass fits right through there. It actually looks pretty decent. It looks pretty strong. Also, can't forget about the bottom areas. Yeah. 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 I gotta add those there. God, that's gonna be so pricey. Okay, so let me come around here. I think... Which, this sucks for the area down below us, but I think we should add in one more. Maybe, like, right here. I'll try not to block our view down below too much. Alrighty, beautiful. However, just because I don't know how the glass over here is going to be, so I don't think we can actually predetermine all that stuff. Oh boy, uh, I guess for the fun part, let's not hold off anymore. Let's see how much glass I really have. Can I actually finish this? Okay, and I mean, like, not 
too bad. Okay, so now with all of the sand that I have, which really isn't that much, let's go through and just start to fill in all of this. I need oxygen. No. Wow, that surprisingly didn't really take that much. Then we can go inside, go over to our tunnel, and now we can start breaking it. God, I really wish that I had silk touch. Really wish I had that already. And then we just tunnel through this, start clearing you out, which this is already looking so cool. Ooh, I'm liking this. Oh, and this looks cool. I like seeing this little stone ring going around and done. So we'll leave the sand there until we actually complete the building. The one thing I don't know is lighting. I really wish that I didn't need to add in anything at all. Uh, I mean... It's really ugly, but we can just add torches on the glass until I make some lanterns and maybe that'll make everything in here look be uh, more beautiful. If I ever find a guardian temple, I would love to actually use sea lanterns. I think that would be the absolute best because then I could just add it outside underneath. But yeah, okay, but this should hopefully be bright enough in here. I just really don't want to use that many torches in here. But hey, at least we completed this tunnel. And from the outside, oh yeah. Oh yeah, our base is starting to come along nicely. So multiple issues. I'm trying to think of like the best one to start, which I think obviously, you know, very clearly uh, we want to finish the building. And then I guess we'll just like manually do the farm because I think I have enough iron to actually make the machine and like I can actually build this entire thing. I'm just a little worried about using that much iron, but I think it'll be possible. But 100% we need to go get more glass. We are really, really broke on that, which I can't use any of that sand. That's for getting rid of the water. I wonder if it's possible to also make a sand farm with the create mod. Like I, I really just don't know everything that I can actually do with the mod, so it'll be fun to figure it out. Also, if you guys want to tell me what to build, uh, that'd be uh, greatly appreciated. Wow. Uh, luckily, this shouldn't actually take me that long. Wow. We... I also need to download some kind of, like, battery mod where I can recharge that because I really don't want to keep on remaking power cells. That'll become very expensive. So, yeah. We might want to, like, barely use that. And, well, don't mind me. Just just gonna be uh, mining out all of the sand uh, until I probably break both of my iron shovels. Okay, so that was actually really nice and fast. The gear makes it go by way faster than before. And uh, uh, yeah, no, that, that is 100% not enough. <laughs> 100%, we need way more. So let's head back home. I think I'm gonna make two more shovels because I'm pretty sure the farm building just by itself is going to take up all of that sand that I just gathered. Well, I guess since it's gonna be taking us some time. Hopefully I'm still in render distance, but we should really start smelting all of the sand. Ah, oh, this will never get tiring. Never get old at all. It's one of the coolest I've ever built, I'd say. Okay, enough hyping myself up. Uh, also, just because we're kind of desperate for kelp, let me make sure all of it comes to the top. Definitely need to go to the nether. We might do that in episode three. If you guys want it. So yeah, we definitely need to make this an entire bubble column. Why do I feel like I swim almost as fast as the sea moth? Okay, wait, speaking of swimming, before we go over there and collect some sand, yeah, let's also collect this kelp farm. I just really want to stay on top of it. Wow, that made it... I, am I crazy or did I make it brighter over here? Very beautiful. Wow, that farm produces a lot. Okay. And this is why I go so far away from my base to collect sand. Uh, God, it is looking ugly. Hopefully the create mod is cool and I can have a sand farm. Oh, wait, maybe... Actually, no, we can actually have an infinite sand farm. I just... Did the stronghold spawn in this world? That might be an issue. If it didn't, we could probably make a challenge for myself or I could just give myself the portal. Or maybe there's a mod where I can craft the portal frames. I have no idea why there's an air block right below this coral, but man, do I love it. And there we go. There goes our two iron shovels. Clicked all of this. Need to go get uh, all of the sand everywhere. And that's more like it. Okay, now after seeing all of that amount of sand, we should definitely be able to finish off the dome with all of this. Just gonna go through and let it all cook. Beautiful, even more in there. Every single furnace is gonna be going. And now to... Is that a 
squid up there? Was that the Kraken? Am I going insane? Oh, okay. That was a really weird looking visual bug then. Okay. God, at least it looks beautiful around here. Uh, Fairly soon, maybe this episode, we're going to go around with all the sea pickles that we have, since I do have a lot. And then we'll light up the rest of our base. However, here's some editing magic. Uh, I'm just going to sit down and wait for all of the sand to cook. So, yep. See you guys in like five hours or something. Oh, man. Uh, don't mind me. I just went and had dinner. So, luckily, all of the glass is completely done. And I think we definitely have enough glass to finish up that build. Now, the next question is, do I have enough stone? Because now this is making me a little nervous. So, to make this safe. I think maybe if I build up all of the walls five blocks total, that should be enough space. Because then from there, I'm going to have like a little bit of a dome on top. So we have even more room. So first off, we'll bring this up to here. So this is only three blocks. And then we'll just shoot up to five immediately. So I guess we'll just go like this. So it kind of builds up into it. Yeah, looking at it like that. Yeah, yeah, that should definitely be tall enough. I'll be a little surprised if our... Uh, Farming area needs to be taller. Lot of deep placing glass. Really wish I could go fast. Now, I guess we probably should just remove the glasses here. Because I do think I'm going to have this all lead into other areas. So just like how I've been doing with every other spot, we'll just leave uh, two there for a door. Honestly, we might as well just go around to every other spot and do that. And there we go. Surprisingly, I actually have glass left over. And oh boy, this is going to be a big boy. <laughs> oh god, I am not looking forward to um, filling up this place with sand. So I think I think we're gonna have to do the same thing as what we did over here with this roof on the uh, the first building how it's a big room and we kind of really don't want to have the roof on this go up super high and touch like the surface of the ocean so i think for every single one of these we will probably want to go in like three blocks i think per level until we fill up the entire area just so it's like a nice flat roof so it might not look the best, however, uh, that's what the stone is going to be helping us with. Now to just go around this and uh, fingers crossed that I don't mess up on any of the counts, which this is when it gets a little tricky. And then getting over to this section, I guess we actually just do this and then we can just have the glass be on top of there. So then as we walk into here, boom, the ceiling comes up. It's nice and grand. Wow, this is actually going to be huge so yeah we're definitely going to be doing a lot of different crops on this we're not making this just one but the roof is actually coming uh, you know along pretty decently it's not too bad uh just so it's not ugly right here i think what we want to do is just bring this all the way across yeah that's actually yeah let's do that oh god we have this much left and i have one and a half stacks left oh don't tell me i need to go get more please uh yeah we'll just fill it all in here because yeah we're like three blocks from the top of the world god, please be enough please no i just need five more well it's a good thing i have all this okay perfect so this entire place is finished and i guess just so i can actually get in here wow yeah yeah this is most definitely gonna be a uh, very nice massive place well wow, i actually i think i like this one the most out of all of the domes that we have even though uh these three corners are the same and not this one. Oh god i actually think i care enough uh i think we'll break you and then place one right there yeah that that'll actually bug me and perfect okay so it all relatively matches just don't look too hard then with about four stacks of sand yeah let's oh boy don't mind me uh, let's go through and start lining this place up and then once we are finally uh rid of all the water in here we can actually get to work which for every single door spot we might as well just go through right now and just put in blocks right here for it Oh, no, 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 I need oxygen. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that, that hurts so much. Oh. Ah, oh, da, the end of the montage. And I now give all of you the completed farm. So uh, I made sure that nothing would actually spawn in here. And 
wow, this just looks beautiful. I kind of like the uh, the open glass look in here just so you can, you know, really see the ocean, which we can actually kind of see a fair bit out there. I don't really know why this is so much more visible than the other rooms, but I think it'll look even cooler when it kind of looks like this. So uh, yeah, let's definitely go through and get all of these again. And there's one thing after seeing this, I am really tempted to try it out and yeah, God, it's going to be expensive. I'm kind of curious how how I would like it if we just had slabs all along this. Wow, I think that was meant to be. I'd like the exact amount of slabs for that. So if we go in here and we just look at it because, oh yeah, I think I actually like that. Even though it does cut off a bit of the visibility, I think this looks more visually pleasing than this. It's like this, yeah, you can see absolutely everything, but also the water kind of makes everything look really funky and distorted. Oh God, we might want to do it on the bottom as well. Yeah. Man, why did I have to think of that while I was draining out the dome? That sounds weird. Well, uh, I guess at the very least, we'll go and just do that to the tunnel area. I don't know if I'm going to go around the entire base and add that in, or else that might be like a little bit too crazy. So, I mean, it's definitely a lot darker, so we probably need to add in a few more torches, but wow, that looks way, way cooler. I like that. Ooh, okay, no, 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 I'm not gonna focus too much over here. I, I need to actually focus on the area that doesn't have anything instead of adding more stuff to the already built base. So first off, we might as well start out with the very typical. We need to find every single corner like these and then we just go boop, bring over the stone. Lines up perfectly with everything, very luckily. Then we just go around to every single side and duplicate it all. Okay, this one is super long, but this might actually look really cool. Yeah, I think I actually Actually kind of like that it's just a little trippy thing like that no way oh my gosh wait, i think i had enough just by one block which if you haven't seen the one block sky block you might want to go watch that now at every single one of these very obviously boom we're gonna go around with some uh some staircases i think it would look a lot nicer here compared to uh slabs and we'll do it at the bottom as well because i believe when we're in here yeah you can kind of see them a little bit oh i like this oh this is starting to come along very well oh this is gonna look so cool and now comes the part that i was dreading so we don't have enough staircases for it don't really have any any blocks like I can make that into one staircase but you know it's not worth it yeah we're almost completely out of cobblestone don't have any more stone ah, man I was really hoping to make it through the entire movie without having to do this so I might as well go mining which we haven't actually looked down here ever since building the farm I think I kind of like this because it makes it like a tiny bit darker down here so as we're traveling down we get the sense that like okay yeah we're actually going underground Whereas like up here just felt like the same kind of vibe as all the other areas. So I think putting the farm right there was definitely the right choice. And I'm really hoping that there's no creepers down here. Oh man, I should really go get some doors. Here we go here. We'll make a cheap man's door. Beautiful. Actually, wait, I'm scared of spiders. There we go. I'll just do it like that. Alrighty, well, I guess I'm just going to be mining here for a little bit. Uh, don't really want to bore you guys with it. So, yep, I'll see you once I go through, like, two iron picks. Oh, boy. Hopefully, we find a cave. So, I've, uh, done a little bit of mining. So, I've almost collected nine stacks of cobblestone. It's just my inventory is starting to get full. And the further that I dig, the more annoying it gets. I'm, you know, kind of noticing how, uh, there's a lot of underwater caves in this world. And, I mean, they might be really fun to go through and, you know, explore them and everything. But that would take so much time and we are running out of time. So I at least blocked uh, all of those tunnels that I found or all the caves that I found off with cobblestone. So in the future, if I ever feel like uh, cave exploring or maybe I just go in there because like they have like a lot of ores that I need or something, then, you know, I can easily find them all just like this one right over here. Oh, and this cave, which actually links up back to uh, the regular cave that I've been in, which I guess now is a good time to go around and actually collect all of the ores in here. Oh dear God, no, no, no. No, 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 I'm sorry. No, I don't feel like fighting anything right now, please. I'm too scared that if I kill you, you're gonna drop some good loot and I won't be able to carry it. But a very decent haul. The bad part is that now I just have to go smelt everything. Please let there not be anything dangerous in here. Oh yeah, no, we definitely need to light this up better. Wow. Yeah, I'm excited to get lanterns. It's gonna be really nice to light up the ceiling in our entire base. However, here we go. Time to start cooking everything. Very luckily, I have gathered a lot of coal down there. 
Okay, luckily that we don't actually need to wait for all of this to cook at once. And we got 60 to work with. First off, let's make like 15 more stairs. And oh boy, it honestly just looks like we need everything. So, uh, I think slabs are going to be very important. And the rest we could just make into stone bricks. Because if we need to, we could turn that into any other block that we need. Now, I can go back to you after so unbelievably long. We can hopefully, after that entire mining session finish all of the decorating for this build and this is why i really really want to make a cobblestone farm with that create mod i am really hoping that it's actually possible and that you guys can uh, help me out with that oh wow i weirdly had like the perfect amount for that and beautiful we have exactly 64 i'm gonna make a whole lot of stone brick slabs and i guess the rest on the stone bricks again then we just have to come up here and let's see one thing that we can start to do is this come across and then maybe in here we leave this open for glass and then we just go into the center and then we put in the four on this side oh yeah i like that oh wow this looks so cool um we could put something this direction but then i feel like that'd become way too crowded i think we're actually kind of done with uh decorating all of it and one thing that i uh now just started thinking about is above all the glass i mean i kind of like it so we can actually look down so i might not end up doing this but we could make some wooden slabs and then put it underneath all of the glass so it's a different color for stuff out there but for the most part i mean wow that felt way too easy i feel like that was a smidge too easy it has to be something else i can do i mean i guess i can go around this and also put stuff around yeah yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. So we might actually just be done with all the uh, the stone decoration outside. Over here's... Oh, God, it's so like empty and naked, but it might be fine. This tunnel looks good. I kind of want to do the same in these corners right there. So maybe we come up here, break these. Oh, come back here. Oh, much nicer. Yeah, I like that a lot more. How you doing, bud? Oh, my God, I forgot your name. Oh, God, what was your name again? Oh, no. Oh, I forgot it. I remember I gave you a really good name. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, don't don't believe there's anything else wow you really grew Ooh, actually here we can do a slight little upgrade wow but look at our cute little base coming along i'm liking this this is looking cool honest i think now is the best time to go get that villager or villagers you know because even though we haven't made this automated i'm a little scared to start the create mod this episode just because of how long that will take me so oh boy i think we'll just end up like caging them in in this area right here and we can at least bring the villagers over uh oh oh no i don't have any apples uh didn't i get golden apples from a sunken ship or am i remembering a different world oh that's not good okay um well i don't think that i can wait for your comments i actually believe that i need to go and start a tree farm so i can get apples or else uh because then that eliminates a whole lot of stuff that i can do in this world and i i believe i made this place big enough for trees to grow so this should actually hopefully save our run the worst part is we are we're really cutting it close it's almost at the end of the uh the two days for my recording for this but we can speed you up by using some lovely bones and okay so we have a stack and 14 to work with so this should allow us to speed up these trees a very beautiful amount oh my gosh we actually have trees oh my goodness look at this beautiful beautiful sight okay here you go break you break you <gasps> okay we got one apple uh, that was like really fast and anticlimactic okay but very good very good break all of these boom baby we got a lot of apples now the next thing that i'm kind of wanting to do oh wait no no never mind i don't need uh grass for this but it would be really fun to get a beehive and i actually know how to do that uh legitly you know without having to uh, use a broken mod that almost destroys my world so that'll be nice i just have to make that iron farm first that's the uh the important part but boom boom now we have a whole lot of actually we just have unlimited wood now which again i'm sorry if that makes any of you angry i just i still very strongly believe that i deserve it after going through that mod and i'll have two golden apples for those villagers 
characters so we can actually, you know, progress in the game. Uh, wait, wait, oh no, I do not want to get any of my scuba gear damaged. At least until I can put mending on it. Here you go, stay nice and safe. Did I? Oh, I never fully upgraded those. Yeah, I think I only fully upgraded these. Oops. Well, hello there, old faithful. Beautiful. Back in my natural habitat. Oh my gosh, I move so slow. Oh gosh, oh, so slow and uh, barely any oxygen, jeez. What's up, beautiful? Oh, how I've missed you. Just don't hurt me. You're not mad at me, right? Oof, what if I sit with you? Okay. I'm curious about something. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind, I'm not curious anymore. Wait, so you can't throw it like that. Why'd you hit me? Okay, well, ow. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. We need to do a little game plan now. So, with an iron sword, I believe I go up there. I hit her five times. No, four times. So we hit her four times, stand kind of close to her. Boom, she throws the uh, potion of weakness right at us, straight over to those villagers. But I do realize that I actually don't need to do this. I could, uh, I think I could actually make my own potion of weakness. It's just, I really don't want to go to the nether. Okay, so next potion. And then we go, and we kind of stand over here. Okay, please stop drinking. You're on the job right now. No drinking, okay? Come on, come on, come on. Don't you feel threatened? Come on, I'm, I'm very threatening. Did that work? Oh. Nope. Okay. Don't throw poison. That, that's a little rude. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, yeah. Nope. You, you need to stop doing that. Did that work? Oh my god, run, 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 run. Don't want to die. 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 Uh uh. I oh god, I'm actually kind of worried about them turning into villagers before I can move her away. Uh, and I'm almost out of food. Ooh, I might just want to shoot her, but I only have seven arrows. I think it takes like well over two minutes at least. So we have a little bit of time. Oh dear god, finally I can at least get some health on, man. Nothing will sneak up behind me hopefully god i need to get rid of kelp oh i need to stop eating dried kelp really badly okay well that's all my food come on throw a potion throw a potion okay now we go in i don't think okay i don't think i'll ever need a witch again but yeah i'm just removing you just to eliminate all possibilities of uh, something bad happening oh my gosh uh okay i think i can be fast enough before they change i think i can make it back to my house and we can get some food oh god it's nighttime it's nighttime and i have half a heart please nothing dangerous spawn please just stay friendly nice and peaceful in here nice and peaceful nothing bad Okay, please tell me I still have those crab legs. Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Heal, please. There we go. Oh, man. Kelp could never. Okay, that's good enough. You go there. Uh, I know I said I need to stop eating dried kelp, but I'll just eat this. Okay. Then... Oh, one of them changed. Hopefully the villagers aren't close enough to each other. It's where in case one's still a zombie, they can hurt the other. Okay, beautiful. Uh, just because I really don't trust you, I'm gonna wait for them to change, and then I'll pick you both. Oh, my God. I have a nitwit. Oh, no. You can make babies, right? Oh, no. Don't tell me. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely a nitwit. <gasps> Wait, I can't pick him up with this carry mod? No. Say it ain't so, please. Dog, that was the entire reason why I downloaded it. I can't. Oh, no. I actually don't know what to do. I feel like the carry mod's not actually working. Uh, okay, let's see if I can go and very quickly make a job block and if I can at least entice them to get out of that cave. Oh, my God. I can't carry them. Oh, I hate 1.16.5 but I have to have it or I have to play on this so I get this cool swimming mod with that O2 and all that stuff like oh god issues okay there we go it's like do I really not have any books so and then you go like that you there boom bop okay we now have a lectern oh wait oops I still need the boats or at least one. Oh god uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to transfer them over into my little compound building area. I was actually putting everything on picking them up. Alrighty, boys. Who wants to come over here? Okay, good. Both of you seem up to it. For some reason, the nitwit is really up to it. Okay, good, good. Here comes the other one. Both of you. Beautiful. Okay, yes, yes. Just get into here. Get into here. Because, I mean, if anything, I can actually just make this area the trading hall. And of Arthropods 3. Oh, I like that. Even tells me, like, slows and increases is damage to arthropod mobs isn't that incorrect isn't it like to like spiders and why are you walking this way go into there come on be a good dum dum i swear to god okay well at the very least they are in here actually i still don't trust you guys uh here's a boat there's a boat yeah no you guys just yeah get, get into the boat i i don't trust you to have free will and walk around oh boy that's really bad. Like, actually so bad that I can't pick them up. Um, well, at the very least, I have all this kelp right here. So, okay, you can go away, bud. I, I really don't need you right now. One thing that I can do is see if I can find another mod where I can pick them up. Um, I do have 
rails, but I don't think that I can use them underwater in this version. So that kind of creates another issue. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go and uh, play around with the mods. I definitely need to uh, double check stuff. I don't believe that the carry mod is actually working. But I mean, I can do this. Oh, wait, it stopped working. Wait a second. Yeah, cause I can, wait, now I can pick it up? Wait, why does it work now? Huh? Um, maybe I should go double check with the villagers? Here, what if I try to like a fish? So I can pick up Bowers parrot fish. Oh, here you go. Let me drag you away from your family. There you go. Good luck finding the mud. I can pick up those things, but I can't pick up a villager. Okay, let's try one more time since you guys are in a boat. Yeah, no, can't pick them up at all. Why do you look so different? Are they normally like that dirty looking? Sorry, I don't, I don't mean to insult you like that, I swear. You guys stay there. Let's go see if we can figure this out. Eureka! Oh my gosh, okay. I found a mod. It's called Easy Villagers. Apparently, I can actually just pick them up like items. Uh, First, we should, you know, I gotta get you guys out of there. Please don't get hit. Okay, beautiful. And then I also found, yes, it works. Oh! <gasps> Yes, come here, you. Oh my gosh, yes. Another thing that I found out is that nitwits actually do breed, so we are completely okay. There, There is nothing to worry about. Why can I hear a zombie over here? I didn't know that there was a cave that way. Oh my gosh, this is amazing, though. What the? I can... Oh, I, I don't like that. Oh god. Imagine if you have like 30 in here, you could just hear all of them just talking in your ear. Oh, stop doing that. No, I don't like that. No, s shut up, please. I, I really don't like that. Okay, so we're just going to uh, block them off right now. So here you go, guys. There you go. Stop talking in my ear now. Beautiful. So there's some more stuff that comes with the Easy Villager mod. Like I can just straight up make a breeder. Like they're really, really cheap to make any of this stuff, except for that. Wow, that takes another right ingot. In uh, interesting. But what I'm getting at is that, um, like, I think that makes villagers grow up faster if they're babies and hear this iron farm. Oh my God, that is so cheap. So this is a light yeah, iron farm where it'll spawn in an iron golem like once every four minutes you get an iron ingot like one per minute so it is not strong whatsoever a lot of those blocks it, they're just one block farm so i can stack up a lot of them and they don't make that much lag so you know they're kind of really nice for that um maybe in the beginning i can just make those but honestly i'm okay with making regular farms i'm totally fine with not using any of these whatsoever um so i think i'll leave that up with you guys because uh, I'm kind of down just to see what, like, what the general consensus is because uh, me personally, I really don't care which way that I go with it. Which I think first off, can I even make a bed? I only have 35 strength. Well, if I explore around the ocean, then yes, uh, I might be able to make a few beds. But I need to figure out some way on how to make grass because if I make grass, I might... <gasps> oh, no, because no animals did spawn. Ah, oh, dang it. I was going to say... I could reactivate that one broken mod and then go back in there, see if I can find some animals, pick them up, but I don't think it works with animals. I'm pretty sure it's just uh, villagers. There has to be some way for us to get some animals because I think think I can get chickens if I find uh, like two baby jockey, you know, zombies riding a chicken. Then, you know, I, I could start it that way, but that's tremendous work. Um, I don't know, unless there's a mod, but if I can get sheep, that's the biggest thing. Either sheep or if I make a spider farm, one of those could work out very well. But at the very least, we do have these uh, two guys right there. Um, I would attempt to breed them right now. However, uh, kind of don't really uh, have the uh, capabilities of doing that. We could go and start the farm ourselves. Like I can make like a little baby farm right here and then we could just, you know, just keep uh, using bone meal and growing it all. But honestly, with everything that just happened, I think we're good to end it off here because uh, yeah, it's currently like 1 a.m. So I'm now starting to go over the 50 hour mark on when I first started the recording this video. And there's so many questions in here from uh, for me uh, to you guys, so yeah, I, I really hope that you guys can answer me on those. And plus, all of the other stuff that I want to start doing is going to uh, require a lot of work. 
So yeah, I think we're definitely okay to stop here. I feel like I've done a tremendous amount of uh, work on this one. I feel like this video is most likely going to be around like three, four hours long. So if it is, sorry. I hope you like that length. Uh, hopefully you guys can help me out with the create mod. I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I would love to start it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying how the base is coming along. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah, I like this. I, I think we're starting to get a very pretty base on here. Just wait until episode three, all this stuff that we can do. Oh wait, I totally forgot. Yeah, let's get the uh, good armor back on. Much better. Oh yeah, now we're now we're now we're lost at sea and style. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the movie. Uh, hopefully you guys want to see an episode three. I'm loving this world a lot. I'm uh, actually really happy and uh, proud of the progress and everything. As I keep mentioning it. Sorry. And yeah, I, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.